Hey, Hilti fans, welcome to this next episode of Hilti Live. My name is Krista Wellman and I will be your digital account manager. If you haven't seen any of our previous episodes, please check out on our Facebook page or our YouTube channel, different applications that we walk through and new products such as the DX6. So in today's episode, we're gonna be talking about cast in and post installed anchors with one of our product managers, Chapa. Thank you Hello. for joining. No, thank you for having me. This is my first Hilti Live video. So yeah, I'm super excited yeah. to be talking about the breadth of cast in place and post installed solutions that Hilti has to offer for our contractors, yeah. you, our audience. Yeah, awesome. So we have a wide variety of products on our table here. Uh, let's dig in maybe on this side first. Absolutely. And we know that there's a huge trend in the industry when it comes to uh, BIM and prefabrication and anchoring solutions. So I'm glad that you actually started this out of the table. So thank you. It had the most colors. So that's kind of what attracted me. So <laughs> let's kind of walk through that. It is a nice palette of color. And yeah. I'll say that the colors actually mean something, okay. right? So the colors mean a couple of things. It's diameter designation, and then also coordination between the different trades out on the job sites to know like, hey, which fastening point is mine? Is it the green one? Is it the orange one, the black one, et cetera? Mm -hmm. um, and they are, are actually tiered colors. Okay. So going from uh, green, orange, red, all the way up, we have the quarter three eighths, three eighths half, three eighths half, five eighths. And if we have the larger applications, the larger diameters, of course, available too. Awesome. Different base materials also. So these quick cast single point in inserts ha uh, yeah. come in pan deck, wood form deck, also metal deck solutions. Yeah. Uh, and for the metal deck solutions, uh, we have the concrete that's poured over the metal deck. There's different valleys, right? Mm -hmm. So there's the short plate anchors, as we call them, which come pre-assembled with screws, yep. um, adding that productivity benefit uh, all together. And then these long plate solutions that come with a pre-assembled bar, if you will, adding yeah. for the attrition of the anchor point uh, and can span the actual valleys all together. So. Awesome. Any other innovations that we have on the pre-install? Yes. Um, so the latest and greatest of the innovation is going to be the quick cast connect anchors. Cool. And the way we designate those between the multi-diameter thread and style is going to be the brass color piece of the anchor itself. So these are single diameter push to connect anchors and innovate is the right word. Mm -hmm. um, and also productivity. Mm -hmm. So uh, we talked about how BIM is a huge trend. And yes. if we're the type of firm that likes to really be productive, below the deck, mm -hmm. um, then I want us to imagine a world where we have our rigid elements, whether it's single rod drops, yep. uh, trapezes, uh, multi-rod, trade racks, for example, and they show up to a job site pre-assembled and rigid, and we can take our quick cast connect anchor, take our trapeze or ele rod element, and push it in. And that's our fastening point. Wow, so you're, step you're miss skipping a lot of steps here. There is, you would have to thread it in, and then add a washer and a nut, and then add the trapeze, and then another washer and nut. That's a lot of steps. So that makes sense that it's very productive for you guys out in the field to just push and move on to the next one. Absolutely. So we can take our trapezes and simply push, push, push uh, awesome. for that productivity benefit. Very cool. So what happens if uh, poor, so the poor schedule gets messed up or a anchor gets knocked over on the job? What happens then? Yeah, or there could be a scenario where it is a renovation job. Yes. Our lead play is going to be a post-installed solution. Yeah. So if something gets dislodged or anchor fastening point is lost for whatever reason, there are different post-installed anchoring solutions for rod hanging applications available to us as well. Yeah. So if we get a little bit of a close up, the breadth of this portfolio is quite extensive, but I have a few on the table just to kind of talk a little bit about it. There's the flush anchors or drop in anchors as they're called. For example, this HDI PTZ for a 3 8 rod drop. Um, there's also screw anchoring solutions, which are very popular for that speed of installation piece where yeah. we pre-drill the hole, install this with an impact, and then we have our quarter, three eighths, half rod drop applications. There's also other solutions uh, such as uh, a wedge anchor, yeah. you know, for our seismic bracing attachment if we're in a seismic zone mm -hmm. altogether. Yeah. Um, and then if for whatever reason we need to have some sort of like a, a strut to concrete application, mm -hmm. um, there's accessories or tools or fasteners out there such as this uh, quick us easy pan medium pan large head anchor, mm -hmm. which uh, comes with the if you would pre-install the nut and washer on it. Okay. So you don't have to fumble with nuts and washers. And you can take our strut system, insert this anchor through it, and fasten it to you know a block wall or concrete ceiling, for example. You know? Very cool. 
So what about inserts? Do we have any inserts for um, when putting these anchors in? Yeah, Just them. absolutely. And some productive ones, a yes. uh, matter of fact. So for example, uh, a very popular one in the industry is going to be this auto setting tool uh, insert, which is used with our flush anchors. And so we'll notice that there is a stop bit mm -hmm. at the end here, which is really important, especially if we're going into projects that have PT deck and we're limited to the amount of drill depth altogether. Yeah. We can drill the specific size diameter and embedment for our fastening point. Yep. And then we remove this piece and we have the setting accessory, setting which sets the actual flush anchor. Awesome. Uh, when I worked in the Hilti store in Chicago, uh, customers would come in and buy these all the time. They love these things. It's so innovative. It's so easy. It's awesome. So. It's um, a nice productive accessory. Yeah, definitely. I agree. And let's not forget from a safety orientation that when we're drilling, going into concrete, there are accessories out there, such as this dust removable system, which yeah. is an onboard vacuum that attaches to the hammer drill. Mm -hmm. And it also has this nice swivel, uh, oh, which cool. works nicely with the auto setting tool for removing of bits, et cetera. Awesome. So. so we talked about a lot of products. Let's demo some of them. I agree, let's do it. Awesome. So here on my left, we have essentially two buildings. We have a concrete wood form building, yep. and then we have a steel building, a concrete over metal deck building. Yep. So we're gonna pretend that these are floors, these are diaphragms of the buildings, and we're installing our cast in place anchors mm -hmm. onto the wood deck uh, to start off. Yeah. A lot of things have to happen before we actually get to this step. We yeah. talked about BIM and prefabrication and that whole process. Mm -hmm. um, yes, these are pre-planned, pre coordinated and yeah. there are a lot of trades who are hanging uh, their rod hanging elements where there's single rod drops trapezes etc yes. down below the deck so that coordination has to happen beforehand mm -hmm. once that's done the layout crew comes by they mark the deck with either orange red or green um, you know X marks whatever it may be yeah and then we can actually go about and install the single point cast in place anchors yeah and one thing to know is um, with the advanced layout in BIM and Propus these are all services that Hilti um, offers. And if you guys are using an advanced, an advanced layout tool, please drop it in the chat. I'd love to know who out there is using one, so. Absolutely. Yeah. So let's go ahead and begin with the installation piece. Yeah. So this is going to be the quick cast multi-diameter uh, wood form uh, setting tool. Mm -hmm. And the setting tool is nice because it allows us to save our back when we're installing the single point cast in place sensors. Yes. A good best practice out in the industry is going to be having the anchors at your hip. Yeah. So you don't have to bend down and get the anchors outside of the box, right? Because you know where all the marks are at. Yeah, it's kind of counterintuitive when you're bending over to stand back up, so definitely. Absolutely. So we'll take our anchor point and we'll feed it through the chute and okay. we'll drop it there. It's now in the chute ready to be used. Okay. We then go and locate where our fastening point marker is, yep. right? So let's say I choose to place it there, I lift, and the anchor's installed. Awesome, can I try? Absolutely, okay. here you go. Cool. There's a setting tool, and awesome. here is your anchor. Okay, so we set it in, and line it up. You hear it drop. Excellent. And it took oh, you the same amount of hits yeah, that it took me to yeah, set it. Strong. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, and how did you know it was set? The audience may not know, but the yeah. setting tool is actually a smart setting tool where there are color rings on it, which designate which anchor is going to be set with it. So a green ring with the green anchor, orange ring with the orange anchor and so on. And they come at different heights, yeah. these anchors. So whenever the ring re reaches the shoulder yeah. there, that's when you know that the anchor is set. Yeah, super intuitive, very user-friendly. Like, you know exactly where you need to be when you're setting it. So what a cool tool. Absolutely. All right, so we have our wood deck. What about metal? So our metal deck cast in place anchoring solutions is something that we're gonna be demonstrating next. And there's uh, an accessory that we need with it, which is going to be our actual uh, impact or mm -hmm. drill, right? Yeah. Which the process looks like is going to be the same for the wood form mm -hmm. application. We go and locate where all of our uh, green, orange, red, whatever color designated anchor point is at. And then we draw the hole and begin. Awesome. All right, so I've seen our stepper bits before. What is the, like, the rubber black piece around the top of it? So Bottom. this is uh, a nice innovative uh, stepper bit, similar to the auto setting tool for flush anchors. Okay. And the way this works is it's a two-in-one system. So mm -hmm. it's a stepper bit which allows us to drill the hole and we can simply 
remove this and it's also a nut setter. Oh, just so just like for the drop-in anchors. Very exactly. Cool. So it allows us to set the screws that come pre-assembled on the anchors themselves mm -hmm. and we're off and running. Awesome. Okay, cool. Well, let's give it a try. Let's do it. Drill the hole, insert the anchor piece, remove the stepper bit, and then we have the nut setter ready to go. Awesome, very easy. Well, do you have any other um, thoughts or tips for our customers? Well, there's a lot of tips, a lot of thoughts, and I will say that uh, if they have any questions, they're more than happy to reach out to the local, local representatives or to us directly regarding any of these innovative solutions that we have into the market. I'd like to just thank you for having me on here on the Hilti Live episode to talk about these cast-in-place, post-installed anchoring solutions, yeah. um, and you, our customers, for helping us bring out these innovative solutions which handle our pain points seen on these job sites. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. Um, if you guys have any questions, please drop them in the chat. Or like Java said, if you have questions about any of our anchoring, you can um, go to Hilti.com or reach out to your account manager. Uh, we hope to see you guys at the next episode of Hilti Live. Thanks. See you guys. <laughs>